I'm super excited today because finally I get to test the iPhone 12 against the iPhone 13 when it comes to real estate photography. Now I've been a proponent for real estate agents to be able to use their iPhones in addition to professional photos to get their own twilight shots or anything the photographer missed. There's plenty of reasons why these things are gonna keep coming in handy, especially the better they get. So. Let's see what this new iPhone 13 lens can do stacked up to the iPhone 12. So I'm gonna test these things out in my basement here, which is a pretty challenging environment for real estate. It's got all kinds of crazy lighting, this blue light, an LED light on the pool table, and some outside lights. So let's see what these things can do in a challenging situation. Okay, let's first check out the iPhone 12. I'm gonna put it in wide lens mode. Make sure everything is straight up and down. Vertical lines are always good to have. You can see they're pretty vertical on the sides there and in the center. I turned on the grid in the screen so I can see where the lines are vertical. I kind of want to fill up the frame a little bit. Sometimes you don't want to get all the way in the corner, especially if there's a subject there. That looks a little better to me. And let's try out night mode which is in the bottom left i always like to turn that on in low light situations turn it to max snap our first shot now let's try the raw capabilities in the upper left corner you can get to raw in the settings it's called apple pro raw and again max out the night mode and let's see how that does on to the 13. Okay, let's see how they compare. So I took all the pictures, put them in my computer, edited them, and I even took one with my Sony camera that I take professional photos with and stuck it at the end. So let's check out how they all compare. So I don't know about you guys, but I was very impressed with what these iPhones could do, especially in this challenging condition. I actually didn't see that big of a difference between the 12 and the 13. I did, however, see a pretty big difference when it came to switching that Apple Pro Raw on. So let's take a look a little bit more in depth. So here we have straight out of camera, the iPhone 12 did a pretty good job without having to do anything. The color is a little off. The purple is more blue in real life. And so I noticed with the 13, it's the same kind of thing. The purple color wasn't, it's not as purple in real life. But comparing the two straight out of camera, I don't see a huge difference. I thought maybe we'd get a reduction in grain in the iPhone 13 since the sensor is bigger, but I don't see a difference between these two. So here's the raw version of the iPhone 12. And let's compare that with the JPEG. The raw looks just a lot more soft and professional looking in my opinion. The iPhones tend to over sharpen their photos, which you'll see a lot better in the bathroom photos. But uh, this looks to me just a little bit better because it's not completely over sharpened. So this is straight out of camera. The iPhone 13 looks brighter. I'm not sure why that is. The iPhone 12 edited and then versus the straight out of camera. I added some blue and I raised the shadows. I like to make real estate photos look pretty bright in general. And Here's the iPhone 12 raw, which I think looks amazing. This room was actually really dark and the fact that I could brighten it up like this is pretty impressive. You can see there's a little bit of an issue in this blue light region here, but overall it looks pretty great. Now the iPhone 13 raw version, I thought looked really good as well, but the tabletop, I don't know what happened there 
The tabletop looked so much better in the iPhone 12 to me. I just have to imagine that its automatic exposure settings was just a little bit higher, so it blew out the table a little bit and gave it a little bit of a green look. But uh, the table looks a lot better in the iPhone 12. So I did another raw edited version, but I went darker. So I wanted to make it look like it did when you're standing in the room. And to me, the iPhone 13 and the 12 gave a pretty similar result. I can't really notice any real difference. The 13 may have a little bit more of a magenta hue than the 12. And here's the Sony. So I actually think any of these are usable, especially when you're looking on your phone. So many buyers are looking on their phones these days. So we saw what the iPhones can do in a pretty challenging situation. Now let's see what they do in a pretty typical situation with a pretty normal bathroom. All right, so again, pretty much no difference between the 12 and 13 that I could see. The real difference is when I turned the Apple Pro Raw function on. So you can see here the original photos, very sharp, and then the Raw really softens it all up and makes it look a lot more like this professional camera. So let's take a look at the iPhone 13 versus the 12. The iPhone 13 looks like it's just a little more magenta out of camera. Maybe a little better white balance. Here's the raw. So here's the difference between having the normal compression straight out of camera and then when you turn the raw function on. You can see a huge difference here. You can see the counters look a lot dirtier and everything just looks a lot more grimy and just sharp. And this looks a lot more clean and like a bathroom that I would want to buy. And compare this to the Sony. Honestly, it's so similar to me. Even on this big screen, I really am impressed. You can see on the side, the towel looks a lot sharper in the Sony camera than in the iPhones. The towel looks a little blurrier. So the edges of the frame, the iPhone has a little bit of a harder time, but I would say they're very comparable otherwise. So in conclusion, the iPhones 12 and 13, both pretty impressive in my opinion. They're both usable in a pinch if you wanna to add to professional photos. You can mix them in pretty well. Make sure to shoot in Pro Raw. That is a big game changer as far as real estate photos go. So I think this is the future. I think more and more we're gonna see real estate agents using iPhones to get real estate photos in addition to professional photos. If you are an agent or a beginner photographer that wants to get into real estate photography, I built a course that takes you through the entire process from start to finish, prepping the rooms, lighting, composing your shot, different iPhone settings, editing, so you can really get the most out of your iPhone. You can click the link in the description if you're interested. But uh, yeah, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, can't go wrong. I'm very impressed. See you guys in the next video.